count on. LEX 18 News Now. Good afternoon. The time is 3 p.m. Thanks for watching LEX 18 News Now. I'm Kevin Christopher. As the temperature drops, concern grows for the family of a 17-year-old Lexington boy who walked away from his home Tuesday night. Brogan Lorenz lives in the area of Lauderdale Drive near Veterans Park and was last seen around 10 o'clock at his home Tuesday night. Lorenz's parents say he has Tourette's syndrome. According to his family, Brogan doesn't recognize dangerous situations and is thought to be suicidal. We're told he is very polite, though, and if you see him, please call the police. Police in Whitley County are warning people to be on the lookout for a man trying to lure children into his vehicle. Officials with the Sheriff's Department say they've received several complaints that a man in a dark-colored SUV is behind the incidents in Emlyn. Deputies are asking for people who live in that area to please report any suspicious activity. Also in Richmond, police are asking for help identifying the person caught on cam stealing 113 gallons of diesel fuel. Police say the man damaged other property at a Madison County business. The man was wearing a camouflage jacket, light blue facial covering, blue jeans and dark boots. If you have any information as to who that guy may be, call the police. And be sure to join us on air for LEX 18 News at 5. We'll have the latest about the condition of a Johnson Central High School student who officials say was stabbed with a hunting knife on campus. Your LEX 18 Storm Tracker weather forecast is coming up right after this. Ageless medical weight loss can help improve your overall health. Robert lost 107 pounds and 83 inches. He reduced his cholesterol and triglycerides levels. Ageless is a safe, affordable, medically supervised weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. A weather cold fact for you. This is the coldest 10th day of November in nearly 10 years, and we've been spending most of the day in the 30s. Right now, we are at 39 degrees in downtown Lexington, and even just a light breeze coming in out of the northwest is making it feel a few degrees colder. In fact, our dew point right now uh, is running in the upper teens. Meanwhile, the feels like temperature is 31 in Lexington, and you can see the wind chill is several degrees colder than the actual air temperature. It feels more like the 20s right now, and Flemingsburg also into Covington. The wind chill not as much of a factor as you look across southern Kentucky where we're seeing those feels like temperatures closer to 40 degrees in London, Williamsburg and even Jackson as well this afternoon. So overall though things are pretty quiet across our skies. Lots of sunshine so nothing to track on our Max Track Live Doppler. But as we head to the north in particular around the Great Lakes region where the Arctic air is really just sitting right over top of that part of the country. We are seeing some lake effect snow bands going on coming off of Lake Erie, also Lake Michigan as well as areas in Chicago, even Cleveland saw their first measurable snowfall of the season. So I don't need to tell you, bundle up tonight if you are going to be heading out to some high school football games that cheer on the Cats or just enjoy a Friday night out. As temperatures will be in the around freezing, in fact, by kickoff of tonight's high school football playoff games, dropping into the upper 20s under clear skies tonight. And from there, temperatures will continue to tumble. In fact, will be a few degrees colder than where we stood this, this morning as we'll be seeing temperatures uh, bottoming out in the mid to even upper 20s in some cases. So we have a better opportunity to see a widespread hard freeze once again tonight. We will be starting off your Veterans Day with some sunshine, but then into the afternoon, a few clouds will be rolling in. And we're also tracking a nice warm up with high temperatures in the 40s, even pushing 50 degrees tomorrow afternoon. We'll be tranquil even still through the start of the day on Sunday, but then you will notice our future track starts to bring in the clouds and even some rain starting to pop up across southern Indiana and we'll be tracking some showers to close out the weekend. So overall Veterans Day is going to be a nice day, probably the pick day of the weekend as we see mostly sunny skies, a high of 50 degrees. Now coming up in your full storm tracker forecast tonight on LAX 18 News, we'll be tracking those late weekend rain chances and more details for what's ahead next work week. We hope you join us tonight at 5. Great selection, dependable service, and a competitive price. We understand, and that's what we bring you every single day. We know we have to work hard to earn your business, so we will. P-Rats, because bigger isn't better. Better is better.